the hero wakes, long had he harbored thoughts of vengeance against the evil Baron. Get on with it! Philistine. So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil Baron's castle. Our hero resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what he could find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? Excellent. The hero's going to talk to Arturo. Greetings, stranger. I can see from your good looks and heroic demeanour that you must be on a quest to rescue the princess. I saw her yesterday carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. What? That's it? No clues to solve or anything. Well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean, like, by climbing it? Hey, no spoilers. The hero decided to investigate the eerie tower on the hill. It's not very eerie, though, is it? Ben, you did the tower, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. I'll deal with this. Ah, now you're talking. So the hero slew the last of the wolves, which had proven to be a mighty challenge and far more exciting than rabbits. Yeah, bit predictable, though. The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? I put them in. Nice, eh? Yeah, they are. They are nice. You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh! Here come the princess and the Baron. I am the evil Baron, and the princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will, well, they'll do evil stuff, for they are evil teddy bears. I shall never marry you. Oh, she's spirited like that. wise old man suddenly appeared before the hero. Riddle me re, cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let him open the chest. If all trimps are tromps, and all tromps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. True or false? Actually, that's rather easy. Oh, just give him the sword. <laughs> You ruined my puzzle. Took me ages to work that out, and now he's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. Okay, who set up the lever? I thought you did. Well, I thought it was Jim's job. T Quick, let's make something up. Um, well, how about it releases a cloud of lovely butterflies? Worst game ever. I'm serious. Well, uh, how about a standard Hollow Man encounter? Yeah, let's have some bloody action.
Apollo men vanquished, the hero ventured on. Foolish hero, your pursuit ends here, for you will be devoured by the killer monsters of this ravine. <laughs> And the killer monsters are... Chickens? A chicken? Yes, I thought it was time to put in something cute. But also to make us think about our relationship with food and that. Bloody hell, Ben. You... <sighs> Wait, let me fix it. There. This is no ordinary chicken. It's a fire-breathing demon chicken. I kind of feel bad for them. Oh, I thought the hero was done for that time. Maybe we should have put shields in the game. That was just gross. The hero will feast on chicken flesh tonight. And so the mighty hero triumphed over the fire breathing demonic. Um, chickens? Of d the hero emerged into the light to find the evil Baron at bay. Help me, hero. You're my only hope. I, the Baron, shall tolerate your meddling no longer. My elite hobguard will take care of you. They hunger for human flesh. <laughs> This cannot be! Curse you, hero! You're going to kill them all, aren't you? Stop killing my guards, you thief! Stop that bomb slave! Just let them kill you, damn it! Be a sport! Let them kill you! Curse you, hero! You're going to kill them all, aren't you? I should have paid you better elite guards! Stop that pop kid! Be a sport and let them kill them. Stop that hob slaying. Let them kill you, damn it. Baron's elite guards lay at the hero's feet. Nothing now liver. stood between him <laughs> and the evil Baron. I challenge you to personal combat, hero. But know that I am immune to all weapons save one. A magic sword that is the bane of my existence, which there is no way you could possibly have. The sword! The bane sword! It cannot be! No! I am slain! <laughs> what kind of rubbish game lets you kill the villain in one blow? Well, you gave the hero that Baron's Bane sword. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be so easy to get. Oh, give it a rest, will you, please? Come on, back to the game. Hero, thank you for saving me. How can I ever repay you? I can think of something. 
<laughs> yeah, the hero kisses the princess. But only because she wants him to, being a strong, self-confident woman who chooses her own destiny. And they both lived happily ever after? Well, they would have, but the Baron had poisoned the princess and she died an excruciating death. Her inhuman death shrieks tormented a local stable boy who grew up to be a vicious serial killer. And cannibal. You're sick, Jim. Why do you always want to kill everything? Why can't we just have a happy ending? That is a happy ending. I'm with Ben. They both lived happily ever after and there was little to no cannibalism. Oh, great. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Great work, my friend. You are fantastic. You have to be the best hero of all time. I'm going to have my bard stroke sorcerer compose a song about you. <laughs> Whatever. We bestow upon you the title of Honorary Master of Dungeons.